Welcome again to another handy session. I'm going to be doing something a bit different today um, in theme with color. I'm going to be doing a, a negative color theme. Whereas I usually do black and white, now I'm going to do white and black. Uh, you, you'll find out what that means shortly. So I'm going to take a little break from my landscape paintings as those paintings are taking up a lot of space on my phone. And I do not have that much space. I have 64 gigabytes and many of those clips as I have my videos and clips as I record them. Um, some of them are sometimes an hour long. Um, sometimes it's two hours for two separate clips for trees and mountains of landscapes. So, um, <clears throat> because I don't time lapse it on my phone, I do it in post on my computer as my computer has more storage. Uh, significantly more storage so just storage issues so I'm going to do this which has like four clips in total but two important ones in the painting process uh, the planet and the background this one of course is going to have that extra little clip here but it will be insignificant I do not have that much space hopefully it does not uh, time out on me during this one so yeah that's pretty much it I already covered up the black hole well the white hole um, as I will flip the colors now. The shade will be white and the tint for the planets will be black. There will be comets, stars, of them being black. There will be a galaxy going here. Um, so, all of it inverted, negative colors. So that's what I'm going for. And hopefully, um, y'all enjoy this one. It'll be a little uh, different, of course. You know, go back to uh, quicker paintings more casual ones. Uh, so hopefully if y'all enjoyed this one, I think, it'll, I think it'll go out pretty well. It is a pretty big canvas, 22 by 24 inch. And hopefully I use that space well. So um, anyways, yeah, and enjoy the time lapse.
And here is the finished product. Uh, well, I am very happy of how this turned out. I'll zoom in just a little bit. Just to clarify, this is a black and white painting, but the rules are reversed, of course. So the shading is white, the, the tint is black, uh, the black hole is now a white hole. Comments and stars are reverted back um, to a black color. There's a slight galaxy. And nebula gas that would be black as well the background black space would now be just a normal blank white space what have you just a reversed roll of colors but only of black and white so i'll have a zoom in as you could probably tell i have a uh, mic with me just holding it next to my mouth hopefully it works pretty well I'll find out later. And uh, maybe you don't have to um, turn up your volu volume all the way just to hear me. So as I continue this, I'm going to go over some issues, though they may be pretty small.
there's, there's still some issues uh, I'd still like to talk about. That's my little signature right there. All right, first and foremost, centerpiece right here. It does not reflect, but that is to be uh, expected. And this is not black paint. It is white paint, and it does not reflect at all compared to the black paint. Now, there is some bleed through. Well, you wouldn't really call it bleed through in here. That, that would be bleed through right there. But this, this isn't much of an issue. Um, if anything, you could call it debris. Debris and light, gas, what have you, seeping in, into the, the white hole over here. I did a ring around this planet. Backing up, it looks just fine, but up close, Kind of seems a bit, a bit too wet over here, but it works just fine. There are just nitpicks. Never, there's no glaring issues here. Just little nitpick, nitpicks. But um, well, it's a bit too dark, but it does well to contrast, so I'm fine. There's a bit of bleed through here, but I think it adds to it. it has light coming in, maybe from over there, and it's seeping in through here. If you angle it right here, or over here, it does a very good job at illustrating what I'm talking about. It has this over some of the other stencil or, or other planets I did not have a good hold on. But the ones I did have a very good hold on, like this side, it does not have the beat through. It is very clear and well-placed seam along with this planet right here and i think i did well little moon right there little splotches here but that's fine a little bit of an issue getting this up but it's all one and good no peels no scratches no issues only little nitpicks and i think that's a good way to summarize this one I, uh, I, uh, how do I say this? Well, it's, um, first of all, it's very much wall worthy. I do appreciate this. I mean, one issue is I could have used this to be a bit more gray and uh, not pure white, but that's fine. It's okay. I do apologize for the yellow light over here. My garage light is on as I closed the garage door. As people were outside and I did not want to bother them. So just please excuse that. You could see up close if you have to right there. I did do a galaxy here, but I decided that it was a bit too prominent and decided to blend it in. One minute. Blend it in very well. Sorry for that. I just had to remove a notification for a 10% power charge on my phone. So I will have to wrap this up very, um, very quickly. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this painting session. As much as I did, the product and uh, in process, of course. Uh, next painting, I did promise that this one would be having trees and landscape. I'm sorry, I deceived you. Um, but uh, hopefully next time, yeah, I don't really know what it would be. Maybe it could be something like this, a space one, or maybe a landscape. Or mixture. Who knows? And, um, well, until then, do please tell me if you like this or not. And feel free to share in the comments your opinions on this work. I'll try to just tilt it up, down, left, right, over, what have you. Um, but yeah, and until then, that next video, hopefully I can see you there. Bye-bye.